New video time. Guys, I am Yard Offside FM, and it is very nice to see you again. This is episode 21 of The Triumph, my Football Manager 2017 Let's Play series as Hell's Teeth FC in the Tuvalu A division. Welcome back, guys. Episode 21, this is. I apologize for the delay since the last episode. Very busy week with work and protests and stuff, and everything's uh, sort of going to hell in a handbasket where I live. Um, but FM, as always, has been a really good um, sort of uh, escape, I guess, and this series I'm very much enjoying, and glad that you guys are getting in, getting to experience it with me. It's, it's a really, really massive challenge, as I've said throughout this series, but um, pretty fun and, and hopefully pretty rewarding in the end. It's, it's quite a difficult task we've set for ourselves trying to win the OFC Champions League, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Looks like we are going to be in the OFC Champions League for next season. I believe we've already clinched a spot. Let's talk about the results so you can see how we've gotten to such a good position. So, Tamanuku was the last match you guys saw. A 1-0 victory over Tamanuku there. Um, parked the bus for it, but three points is three points. And it got us out of the Independence Cup group stage and into the Independence Cup final. Um, but um, the subsequent match, the Christmas Cup quarter final. You guys will remember that I said in episode 20 I was going to use the regen sort of and use this Christmas Cup quarterfinal as a tester for the regens. I knew that there was a chance we might lose, uh, but we didn't just lose. We were absolutely destroyed by Lacanian Knight at 9-1 was the final result. Um, and part of it was that I used the 3-4-3 Awendo, which is a very attacking formation. Left us pretty vulnerable at the back. Um but I have to say, there were some really, really awful performances. Timali Okalani there. This was the goalkeeper who my assistant uh, told me was, was supposed to be this m massively um, useful developing talent for the future. He looked absolutely abysmal. His positioning was horrendous um, for most of the match. And positioning eight, it said there, uh, he didn't even look close to having positioning eight. Um, and I, I think I really blame him for, for a lot of what happened. Um, so he is no longer with Hell's Teeth. Most of this, the team from this 9-1 loss, no longer with the club. Just seems like it's going to be one of those years where the regen class is not really that good. 2016 seems like, you know, we had some good players. Tito Tui, the defender, was a part of that class. Uh, we also had uh, Malona Vilele in 2017. That was a really good class. Vilele, a, a consistent first teamer for Hell's Teeth. Uh, but 2018 it looks like we're not going to find any really, really star players like that, which is unfortunate. But you know, you get unlucky, um, and, and that's going to happen when you when you're a club that's really sort of trying to build a youth system as we are. So. 3-1. We move. We had to move on from the, the Christmas Cup, which we were knocked out of. Uh, we played the Independence Cup final against Tofaga, and uh, we finally lifted the trophy, guys. After that heartbreaking loss in the final against Luomotu in 2017, we are the Independence Cup champions of 2018. Uh, Ward scored, and uh, Tamafai Tui scored eight minutes later, so we were 2-0 up within 20 minutes. George Panapa pulled one back uh, just after halftime, but Taufia Fiamalua sealed it. And uh, we lift the trophy of the Independence Cup for the first time. So really, we've, we've won a cup double already this season, guys. The NBT Cup at the start of the year, and now the Independence Cup. And, and really, we have a chance today to, to, to seal the treble. Um, because we're going to be taking on Pioneer here. Um, and uh, a draw will we'll see us crown champions again. But let's go over these other results that have gotten us to this prestigious point. Nanumaga held us to a draw, but it wasn't a disaster. We've been in, way out in front for most of the year, so I was just happy to have salvaged a point, as Moyaga did, scoring three minutes from the final whistle to get us a draw. Newtow we then took on. It was a pretty comprehensive victory, much the better team for throughout the match. Luatui got himself a brace, one of those goals being a penalty. Tofi Guy Pearson scored an absolute screamer in this match. Um, he's not usually the sort of player who, uh, he's not usually the sort of player who um, scores goals on his own, but he just picked up that loose ball there after the Tui shot, hammered it in with his left foot from outside the box. Really a, a cracking strike from our captain, and uh, nice to see him, you know, Bulge the onion bag for once, as opposed to just being the, 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 the man who does the, the dirty work and doesn't get that much credit. So, finally, Nauti. 2-0 was the final result. Taumafai Tui scored and Samaya Moeaga scored. Both Tui and Moeaga in really, really fantastic, prolific form. These two guys are definitely not uh, young spring chickens anymore. Both quite 
old, so they're they're both on the older side, but they're both in really really excellent form. Tamify Tui, incidentally, he's been so unhappy with how little he played throughout most of the season, and as you can see, this is why I wasn't playing him is because his attributes are declining very very rapidly. But he kicked up a fuss and uh, really forced um, forced me to 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 to. Uh, kind of do something about it. He, as you can see here, he brought this to my attention that he wants his chance in the first team. So I've been starting him every match. He's still pretty unhappy. Um, so he may opt to leave the club in the uh, in the in the closed season. Let's hope not because Tama Faitui is such a club legend and really he's been playing very well for us since he insisted on being brought back into the team. Um, so I, I hope we can hang on to him. At any rate, Pioneer will be our opponents today. Well, let's just have a look at the table to confirm what I mentioned earlier. We are playing for the title today. We are, as you can see, nine points clear of Tamanuku. Tamanuku can only yeah, they have a maximum of nine points that they can collect before they finish their season. Twenty-two matches played. That's when their season will be over. So as you can see, 45 points is uh, the max that they can achieve, which is what we are on. And um, I mean, really, we've, we've more or less already sealed it. This will mathematically seal it um, as uh, even uh, if Tamanuku make up this big, big goal difference gap, which they're unlikely to do, uh, we'll, we'll finish ahead of them on points no matter what, if we get a draw or better today. So playing for uh, the title here in uh, here here in Tuvalu. Great news for Hell's Teeth. What's not so great news is the fact that we are without Club Talisman. Uh, well, he's not quite a Club Talisman yet, but he's certainly certainly a promising player for the future. Ola Loaf Award. Uh, we were so happy that he uh, that that injury scare he had back during the Independence Cup group stage was uh, was was pretty minor. But uh, in the end, we had something a lot worse than a bruised shin. Strained ligaments that he uh, suffered during a match. Uh, he's probably going to be out for a few more weeks, if I remember correctly. It's starting to look like Ward may be a little on the, uh, the injury-prone side, and that could really hamper his development going forward in his career. But when he is... When he's not hurt, he's such a manifestly wonderful player, and... Uh, I hope we can get him back as soon as possible. I mean, that's a, kind of a silly thing to say because he's so amazing, but, you know, we need him back. Finally, let's have a look at the finances because I haven't done this for a few episodes, guys. Overall balance is now well over 120,000 quid. Uh, we are, I mean, we're we're in very good shape. Can, as, as you can see here, we had a little spike in expenditure, but I think that was mostly just travel costs from going to the, end of the uh, OFC Champions League. Uh, and income has continued to be very good as gate receipts uh, are are a big part of of the money that we're making. As you can see there, I mean, it's, the gate receipts have been pretty sensational all year long. Pretty, I mean, you look at the average. You can't really see the average here from season to season, but it's pretty clear that this is our best season yet in terms of gate receipts. That's the green. Um, I believe it's the green. I suppose we should check before I go ahead and say it's the gate receipts. That's the gate receipts in the green. So yeah, we're having a very, very good season on that front. And as you can see, the projection has us by the end of the 2020 season, we should be somewhere around a quarter of a million um, pounds. I almost said dollars again. Um, so yeah, we are in, uh, in very good shape going forward with this club. And hopefully that means that eventually, some point down the road, we can start increasing our professional status. That's really a priority for me. Let's get into this match here today, guys. As I mentioned, Pioneer, we are taking on. They're not very good this year. They're currently in 11th place. Only one once so far. Uh, and um, hopefully they will continue to not collect wins uh, here today against us. We're going with kind of a retro um, lineup today. Tapase in goal as usual. But then we've got Alasana and Vilele. We've got uh, Pearson, Tinilao, Elu will be back in the team. And uh, the old trifecta that we used for most of seasons one and two, Samaya Moayaga, Tamafai Tui, and James Lapaya with Ward out and Okalani in pretty poor form. We're going with the old guard today. Uh, of course, you know, James Lapaya, not that old, but he's been with the club since day one. So, so really, Emo Tofuola, um, I think really one of the only new transfers. Uh, I guess Tologo came in at the start of this season, as did Tini Lau. So three of these guys... Um, sort of new faces, but r comparatively speaking, this is this is a pretty uh, experienced squad that we're going to use today. Pretty accustomed to wearing that orange, red, and black kit for Hell's Teeth. 
All right, so uh, as you can see, 462 tickets sold. Um, that's actually pretty low attendance-wise. Um, I wonder if it's just because we're playing against a pretty poor team in Pioneer. Um, I imagine Pioneer are not going to be putting a lot of butts in seats. But having said that, I mean, we can win the title today. Come on, fans, we need you guys to show up. As you can see here, Pioneer have never defeated uh, Hell's Teeth in their history. Pioneer, by the way, another one of the clubs that I created uh, from scratch, a fictional team. They don't exist in real life. Uh, I just needed to sort of create some more teams to fill out um, the A Division so it could have 12 teams in it. And so I created uh, Pioneer Viaku. We're going to be taking them on today. Okay, so lots of people struggling in mass sharpness. I think the squad has perhaps got too big, and that is something I may need to address in the close season because a lot of players... I've been trying to rotate the squad, I think, a fair bit too much, and, and that's um, that, that's probably contributing to the, the mass sharpness issues being even worse than they usually are. Okay, so a tunnel interview, and they want to know the day is finally upon us. Can you get the point required to become A Division champions today? Uh... I mean, it's Pioneer. If we if we lose this match to Pioneer, I don't want to say we don't deserve to win the title, but that, that would be an atrocious, atrocious result. How much of a boost is Pitela Kalamene's absence to your chances of winning? I've never heard of the guy, because Pioneer are so bad that none of their players ever end up on my scouting radar. Um, whatever, just focusing on what we can do. You come into this one in good form while your opponents do not. <laughs> no shit. Uh, do you perhaps fear complacency? Yeah, I mean, that's the kind of thing that happens in FM. You lose to teams that you should beat. Um, it's always on the back of my mind. How have your preparations been affected by the 23-day gap in matches? Yeah, I don't know what was up with that. The fixture computer just gave us a big, long gap in our in our schedule here, and that's another reason for the match sharpness issues. It's not been ideal, that's for sure. There was an international break, and a lot of our players went off with the Tuvalu squad, so that's that's part of the... But, you know, 23 matches for an international break. Give me a break. You could play a whole World Cup in that time. Well, not really, but... Anyway, okay, so onward and upward here. Pioneer we're taking on. It'll be interesting to see which um, kit they use because Pioneer, I gave them these horrendous like chartreuse and black and yellow uniforms. Uh, we'll, we'll see what they wear here. Okay, um, we need to go for a team talk. As always, it's a little bit difficult to figure out where I should go with this without the players saying that I uh, am repeating myself too much. Um, let's go with a passionate team talk. Just get them really um, G'd up for the occasion. I mean, we can win the title today. The title will be ours if we manage a win or a draw. But, you know, let's go for the win. Okay. I have faith in you. I have faith in you guys to win the title. A second in a row for Hell's Teeth. Um, let's. Uh, we've already sealed our, our, our place in the OFC Champions League. Let's win this today and get our reputation up. You know, winning the league, that's, that's going to be the biggest way for us to increase our reputation. And that is another key component in uh, trying to increase that professional status because we need to start bringing in some players from outside uh, Tuvalu here for us to really make it to the next level. We're starting to reach kind of peak uh, saturation with, with in terms of being able to bring in the best players in Tuvalu. Um, I mean, we can probably get a little bit better, but at some point here we're going we're gonna to hit a barrier. That is a dangerous ball in from Pioneer here in the first minute, but luckily it's cleared out of the way. I think that was Vilele. It was a good header from him, good defensive header, and uh, now uh, we've managed to neutralize that danger. We are using the Tengaku today. It's a little more uh, conservative. Uh, it's probably going to result in fewer highlights, fewer chances for both teams. Um, but as I mentioned, we only need a draw, and uh, I, think, I think we have enough in us today to get ourselves that point. So, yeah, in the 27th minute here, and uh, no highlights, very, very dreary stuff for the supporters here today. Hell's Teeth not impressing <laughs> thus far. Should I switch over to the Awendo? Maybe I should. We really haven't had a chance, and that was close from that free kick there for Pioneer. Looks like they're wearing their red change strip today, Pioneer. Uh, yeah, I am strongly considering switching us over to the Awendo at halftime, guys, because this has not been worthy of a Hell's Teeth live com. although we do have a chance here, it appears. Lapayo. Oh, James Lapayo! What a brilliant strike. That was a ways out of the box. And here I was saying that this was not a worthy live com. That is a brilliant goal that we have captured here for you guys to watch on YouTube. What a brilliant goal from James Lapayo. I mean, really, it, well, there wasn't a lot of space there for Lapayo. 
uh, apologies there, the match engine, uh, really having the players skating around. Uh, Lapio a ways out, uh, though, uh, well outside the uh, 18-yard box. I think he was maybe 20, 25 yards out, more than 20. It must have been 25 at least. Very long distance strike from James Lapio, and right before halftime as well. Uh, a dagger for, for Pioneer to have to deal with. I think everybody's doing okay condition-wise, so let's get right into the team talk without doing a substitution. Uh, probably we could have played a little bit better, uh, but um, I'm not going to criticize the players. I do that a little too frequently, I think. So let's just give them a pat on the back. Things are going pretty well, uh, but I know you're capable of even better. Hopefully we can hang on to this uh 1-0 result here. I can't see Pioneer scoring twice against us. That's the only uh, result that would that would uh, strip the title from our hands today. Um, you you would have to expect that we're gonna we're gonna at least hang on to a point with this in this in this match here. Pioneer a very 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 poor side. I'm surprised they're in 11th to be frank. Who are, I can't remember who are ahead of them this year. I think perhaps Manu Liva. That was a great tackle from Alasana. I think Manu Live are having a pretty horrific year, and they may be below Pioneer in the table. You guys can go back and rewind and look at the table that was uh, that I, that was in the early part of the episode. I can't, however. Pretty sure Manu Live are at the bottom, though. Free kick there. Luckily, it goes off the wall. Pioneer could have equalized if they put that on target. Uh, they may get another chance at it here. That's a decent ball in. Teeny Lau gets it away, though. Aliu can't deal with it. Uh, Filioma. Is that our, is that our, our Filioma? Oh, uh, it's not going to let me click on him. Oh, well. Um, we, of course, Filioma used to play with us for a very, very long time. Um, Talcoea Filioma. And perhaps he's, he's now signed with Pioneer. I'm not sure. We'll have to look up. We'll have to look that up. Uh, but at any rate, that chance comes to nothing, and we are back in possession here. It's now Teeny Lau on the ball. He should spray it out wide. He does. To Logo. Tui. James Lapayo. Pearson. Teeny Lau. He's got a few people in the channel ahead of him. Lapayo. Pearson. Good passing movement here. Teeny Lau. Tui. Teeny Lau. Tui. Oh, look at this passing. And Samaya Moyaga. That's a fantastic save from the Pioneer goalkeeper. Oof, it was a brilliant through ball from, uh, I believe, Tamafai Tui to set Samaya Moyaga onto the uh, the Pioneer goal at very, very close range. That was a fantastic reflex save, I have to say. I've been uh, criticizing Pioneer pretty harshly for most of this match, but that was really, really sensational. Very, very good goalkeeping. Let's make a substitution, at least just to, you know, check on our fitness, make sure nobody's getting too tired. Condition-wise, um, looks like Tito Tini Lau a little bit on the tired side. Um, Samaya Moeaga and Malona Vailele a little on the tired side. Um, is there anybody on the bench who has been asking for more match time? Hmm... James Mulogo is probably a little bit upset that I told him he was going to be a key player and he's been sitting on the bench. Um, but to Logo, really not that bad in terms of a fitness issue. We could bring on Fia Malua, who needs to be working his match sharpness back up. He's been underused this season. Let's do that. Let's go for uh, Taufia Fia Malua here, and we'll bring him on for uh, Teeny Lau. There we go. Fiamalua pretty good as a ball-winning midfielder. And uh, let's just tell him that we have faith in him. All right, so heading into the 67th minute here at the Tuvalu Sports Ground. Teeny Lau, the man about to come off, takes a shot. Um, that was... Um, that was from range as well, but didn't uh, quite have the pace that Lapayo's strike did. Easily saved in the end by the Pioneer goalkeeper. Pioneer have done themselves pretty proud today. Um, we've really run them off the pitch in many of our previous meetings, but they're playing quite well, really holding the line, and they're still in this. They could get a point out of it. Of course, that would be enough for us. Aliu, that was a great free kick there. Uh, I think it went off the bar. Looks like it has gone off the bar. Really nice chance for them. Let's use those last two substitutions. Um, how is 
everybody doing in terms of rating? Is anybody having a real stinker of a match? No, everybody's playing okay. Tologo only on a 6.6. You know what? Let's bring off Tamali to Logo. I want to use Milogo just so that uh, Mulogo doesn't get angry at not seeing any match time. He hasn't complained yet, but I imagine that he and several other players could be getting on my back if, uh, if they're not receiving as much match time as, as they think they should be. We'll also bring on uh, Toluona to Sela. Very dependable, reliable, um, experienced veteran um, center back, and uh, I think he'll he'll help to just shore things up there. Not that I have anything against Emo Tofuola. He's been pretty good this year, but to Sela, really the experienced guy, and I mean, he hasn't been with the club that long. We tried to bring him in at the very start of this series, but I do sort of see him, despite the fact that he's not been there since the beginning, as, as one of our sort of uh, old guard uh, uh, Tusela. So, okay, let's uh, tell James Mulogo that we believe he has what it takes. Tusela, uh, we'll do passionate for him as well. I have faith in you. All right, let's just go win the title here, guys. We need to not concede twice in the last 15 minutes. I think we have enough... Uh, to, to pull that off. Let's see if we can do it here. Aside from Lapayo's match, this has been a little bit of a boring, uh, boring live com here, guys. Um, oh, that's a woeful finish from Tamify Tui from a pretty good passing move. Samaya Moeaga found Tui, and he was in quite a lot of space. Um, and now James Lapayo is uh, going down the left. He is tackled and dispossessed. That's a nice ball over the top, and they could equalize here. That has uh, gone wide of the post from Lipua, so we've gotten lucky there. It could have been an equalizing goal from Pioneer. There are only, looks like, three and a half minutes left in regular time, and uh, we are looking to be in pretty good shape to win the title here. But Pioneer may have a highlight. Faka Sega. Katagali. Oh, that was a nice glancing header. I believe Faka Sega... Uh, used to play for us. I believe uh, th that's the Faka Sega who went to Pioneer, if I remember correctly. It may be the same guy. That's another player that we'll have to look up and see if he's a former Orange Demon. Uh, it looks like we are uh, going to have a highlight here. Two and a half minutes left in regular time. Pearson heads that away. James Lapio should collect this on the wing. He does. Dispossessed again. A little bit disappointing from James Lapio, aside from that brilliant goal. Um, not sure he's played that well today, but it was a sensational goal, so not to take anything away from him. Fakasega again. Timuani. Katagali. Timuani once again. Pioneer, really, I, I think I've had more of the better chances in this match here. They've arguably been the better team, and if we win this, it'll uh, be a, a, a title-winning three points, but perhaps undeserved. James Mulogo. Tofikai Pearson. Telfia Fiamalua. Mulogo, Pearson, and Samaya Moyaga should get to this. That's a creative ball there from, I think, Pearson. Cross in for Fiamalua. Uh, not a good one, though, and Pioneer can collect and recover. Don't have a lot of numbers in their counterattack, and Pearson does well to strip Lupua. Eliu will find Samaya Moyaga over the top. Samaya Moyaga pulls it up, takes a long-distance shot, and uh, that is not going to trouble the Pioneer goalkeeper, Tologo. Marshall up to, couldn't see his name, Pokia, Katagali, that should be cleaned up by Alasana, it is, James Mulogo, only a minute left here before Hell's Teeth are crowned repeat champions of the Tuvalu A division, go on referee, blow that whistle, Lipua, Looks like the referee played advantage there. Poor ball out here, and it should be a throw-in for us. We can kill some time. Oh, I forgot to turn on waste time. Oh, well, that's all right. Fiamalua will throw this in. Come on, boys, blow that whistle. I would whistle, but I can't actually whistle. You guys, whistle at your screen. Even if you're using, like, a public internet terminal or something. I want people looking at you. Why, are, why is that person whistling? All right, so... Uh, Looks like we're waiting on the referee's whistle here. We're well into stoppage time, well past what the uh, fourth official 
said we were going to have there. Finally, full-time Hell's Teeth are champions once again. We're going back to the OFC A Division, or I'm sorry, the OFC Champions League as A Division champions. Um, I'm very, very proud of the team. That My assistant wants me to criticize the, the, the team for, because we played pretty poorly, which we did. Um, I understand my assistant's, uh, my assistant's reaction here, but I'm not really sure they, that's justified. Should I ask them to be better? I don't know. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Should I go with a cautious team talk? We won the title. We just won the title today. All right. Well, we'll go with my assistants. We'll cautiously go with my assistants' advice there and tell them that was a bit of a let off. We need to play a little bit better. I mean, it. He's right. Pioneer, a pretty atrocious team. Um, but you know, they 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 got the one nil win. We are champions of the A division. I'm I'm proud of this team. A little bit anticlimactic, however, when you when you win a match that in 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 that sort of dreary fashion, you know, understandable that, that my assistant wants wants them to play a little bit better. He's a quite ambitious fellow, my assistant, as is most of the team. So maybe that's the right decision to to ask for a little bit more from the squad. Well, guys, that is uh, going to be the end of this episode as we deal with this very long processing break. Um, we then in episode 22, I anticipate that we will have gone through uh, most of the uh, closed season stuff. We'll probably have gone through all of the friendlies. It may be a while before I release episode 22, just because it takes a while to get through that big grind of of the closed season. Um, but I anticipate that episode 22 will be our participation in the OFC Champions League once again, and hopefully we can do a little bit better than uh, than what we did in the last edition of the OFC Champions League. Of course, knocked out after only collecting one point in the group stage and uh, let's see if we can improve on that in our next episode thanks guys i have been yard offside fm please like please subscribe and please come back for episode 22 of the triumph